What's going on YouTube? Let's talk about a subject that is often overlooked in PowerShell, PowerShell splatting, how you can use it to make your code more usable and more readable. So this example, use a new ADA user. We have three uh, different code blocks here, all doing the same thing. First of all, let's copy all these things and make sure they work. So copy them all into our VM here. As you can see, we have three new users. So the code works. What's the difference here? So here's kind of the default way that you would use new ADA user. As you can see, you would end up having to scroll horizontally with all your parameters in there in a typical way you would use the commandlet. Another way you could do it was not splatting, with, but using backticks. Uh, backticks, if you, you're old like me, these things are a little difficult to see. So they just enable you to, to uh, line continuation when PowerShell normally doesn't let you do that. And when you use a uh, the pipe, you can automatically align continue. A backtick allows you to do that when PowerShell normally doesn't allow you to do that. So that's another way you can do it. Makes your code a little more readable, but the backtick for us old people, no good. And a lot of people consider bad form. Best way to do this is using splatting. Without getting into the technical details, let's just say use it when you can. Use it often. Use it more often. You should use it. I should use it. Anybody that you writes PowerShell scripts should use it more often. And here's why. So here is what this example of creating a new AD user using splatting looks like. Much more readable because it's vertical versus horizontal. And this is the basic uh, format. So you create your variable up here, equals, at sign, and then curly brackets, and then basically all your, the same information that was in the top example goes in between your curly brackets, except the name of the parameter minus the dash, equals, and then whatever your parameter value is. Could be a string, could be a Boolean value, like the enable down here, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then at the end of each line, a uh, semicolon, and that's pretty much it. Very simple. So that is your group of, or your, yeah, let's just call it a group, your group of parameter values. And then you splat them into your commandlet using the at sign params, matches your value up here into the new AD user commandlet. Not difficult at all, but I think it's a, it's a feature of PowerShell that not a lot of people use because, well, if you're in my case, I just forget it's there. Anything over three parameters, I'm going to start using splatting. So I think you should do it too. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments or feel free to reach out to me on social media, in uh, on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, email. Like, subscribe, share with your buddies, friends, enemies. I don't care. All right. Talk to you next time. Thanks.